Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 23rd of July, 2024. Let's clear the energy. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's in your energy today. Just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, spirits. You have main female. So just remember tarot has no gender. You could be this main female. I feel like that is you sitting in that receiver energy. Could be ready to give your rose to somebody. You've got occupation. You could be very focused on the material world right now. You've got gift and expectation. Then you've got main male on the back of the deck. <clears throat> so I feel like you're waiting for your justice. You're waiting for the scales to be balanced for you. Okay, you could be very, very focused on the material world, focused on your career, but you're, ra you're waiting for that reward to come in. Messages for Pisces. The Nine of Wands. The Page of Cups. The Hermit. Virgo. Then you've got the Sun. Leo. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The Ten of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. The Queen of Cups. The Knight of Swords and the Star. On the back of the deck, Pisces, you've got the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So you're leaving a situation. That's what I feel. I feel like you're making a decision to leave something and to focus on yourself. There's a lot of focus on yourself here. Let's grab out some clarifiers. I haven't, this is a new deck. I haven't actually um, drawn on any bikinis or anything on these cards yet so if I don't show the card the reason why is because there is a naked picture on it okay once the reading's done I will get into giving them some clothes what's the nine of wands for Pisces so nine of wands sitting in wounded warrior energy you know, the Nine of Wands, it's got your head all bandaged up. So there could be something that's on your mind, a conflict. So you have the Moon, Pisces Cancer Energy. The Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. It's too many. Just one more, please, spirits. And the Wheel. 
So yes, you've got some type of firm boundaries up. You're seeing something from a different point of view now. You've put yourself in a different situation or a different way. And you're now looking at this sitting in this wounded warrior energy, okay? There could have been something that there was illusions with the moon coming out. You've also got the Knight of Swords, so the Prince of Swords. Someone could have came in towards you, towards the wounded warrior here with something to say. You have the wheel. The wheel is turning. Sagittarius energy could also be significant. But there was someone here that wanted to turn the wheel, you know, turn the wheel on this cycle or whatever it is, but I feel like there's some type of illusion. You know, with the moon, this person wants to come towards you. They are sitting in this Knight of Swords energy, so someone that's taking action but I feel like they come towards you while you sit in this wounded warrior energy with these boundaries up. So there could be some type of conflict. What's the page of cups? What is the page of cups? You've got the two of pentacles. Death. So this person, there could be an age difference between you and them. Uh, water could also be significant. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with this energy. But you did start something new with this person. But, the, you know, they're giving you page energy. Someone that's, I feel, closed off to giving more. There's some type of illusion that they hold. Um, they, they make you wear these rose-colored glasses while they come towards you. This person could be juggling another energy. Scorpio energy could also be significant, but I feel like you're closed off to rebirthing this situation. This person may want to come in again to rebirth it, but to me, it looks like this person could have been juggling you with somebody else in their life. They stomped all over this situation and I feel like you are now closed off to it all. You're closed off to this page of cups, this younger energy, this person that comes in and gives very little. What is the hermit? What's the hermit? So Virgo energy for the hermit. You have the tower. So there could have been something that happened. As I said... This person's only giving you very little, okay? And I feel like, you know, you could still be walking this path alone, even if this person is in your life. You got Virgo energy coming out and you're ready to start a new beginning. So there could be someone coming in towards you that has Virgo in their chart. Oh my goodness, someone that could be a soulmate. So there's a situation that you've left, okay? You're walking the path alone. You're following the star. You're following your dreams or something about occupation. You could have um, put a manifestation out into the world and now you're waiting to receive it because you do sit in that main female energy. There's something coming in or somebody coming in towards you you know, you could have left someone that there could have been a family. But there was a tower. There was something knocked down to bring in something new, okay? You needed to let go of this energy and be the hermit to start this new beginning. Catastrophic is really coming out. Aries energy. But there's a person coming in to start a new beginning that holds a lot of love for you. They could have family with you. 
Virgo energy could also be significant, but I feel like this person is on their path to success also. They're following the star. You know, they come out as this main male. So they are a pair. You've got a wealthy man here too. There could be a few energies around you, but we will keep going. There is something that was knocked down in the past for something new to start, okay? You to focus on the things that are important to you, the people that are important to you, your happiness. So the sun is the yes card. So yes, you are doing the right thing, Pisces, by walking away from that past situation. But it has made you grow those boundaries and you're ready to start something new with another energy here. As I said, it could be someone that's focused on their own path too, focused on their star, building up their dreams. As I said, Virgo could be significant. This person may be someone that's a bit of a hermit, uh, doesn't like to um, be around a lot of people, sharing energy. You might be a lot the same like this person. What is the sun for Pisces? You have the Ten of Wands. So the sun card, you know, on the right of weight, there's that child and they have their arms open. So it's like this person is coming in and this is going to help you drop those 10 wands, okay? To get to that building quicker. What is the sun? You have the two of wands. So this person's coming in with the truth. The truth is going to lead you to some type of happiness and it's going to make you drop these wands here. You've got the Prince of Cups. So that is the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may have a few suitors after you. As I said, I could see two energies there. There could also be a female. Just remember, Tarot has no gender. But you do have a few admirers around you, people that are watching you. This person's making the choice to come forwards with the Prince of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups. They are taking action. They are coming in with something that is emotional, like this cup of emotions. They're making the decision to come forwards towards you and bring in some type of truth and light to the situation. As I said, there's this a lot of people that are very attracted to you. I feel this energy, this Prince of Cups, he has a few things going on in his life, but he's making the decision to put his world up to this situation, to come in and bring the light. As I said, this person could have Leo in their chart. Children could be a factor. Children could be significant. It could be a younger energy. But I feel like this person's making the choice to come in and give you a helping hand. Because you've got the Ten of Cups here. So as I said, you could be married to this person. You could have children with this person. But this, this energy wants... To make you emotionally fulfilled, okay? They want love. What's the Ten of Cups? You've got the Six of Cups. So this is a soulmate. So whether the soulmate is someone from a past lifetime or your actual past, as I said, they could be someone that you were married to. You've got the Four of Pentacles. This person sees you as a catch. This is someone that doesn't want to let you go. They see um, what you have to offer. You could be very family orientated, very nurturing. You give love. You've got the Prince of Pentacles. So the Prince of Pentacles is, oh, look at that, the Two of Cups, a union. And he's carrying her. So it's like he's coming to save her.
As I said, this is a soulmate, okay? They could be coming in with a gift. They could be bringing in flowers. You could be from the same community. You could also have been like siblings in a past lifetime. But it's like divine is there conspiring to bring these two soulmates together. Okay, these people from a past lifetime. But this person is coming in with the cup. There they are with the cup. Someone feels like they've won. Someone feels like they don't want you to go anywhere, okay? And as I said, the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy could be significant. It doesn't have to be. Someone that's taking action, okay? Someone that's coming forwards. They may have held back in the past, but they're taking the initiative now to come toward you and show reliability. Someone that is responsible, someone that looks at all the different angles towards something, but they they want to make you happy, this person. What's the Wheel of Fortune? What is this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? You have the Empress. So Taurus energy, the wheel is now turning. There is this new beginning in your current energy, Pisces. What's the Wheel of Fortune? You've got the Ten of Swords. So ending a situation to start the new. You've got the Empress. Could be with someone that you have children with. Taurus energy could be significant. But there is this new idea. There's a birth of a new idea between you and someone here that wants to bring in happiness towards you. Wants to like cater to you. Then you've got strength, Leo energy. So having the strength to leave that situation and start something new. Oh, and you've got the Emperor on the back of the deck, Aries energy. The Emperor and the Empress. So letting go of something that a commitment that you were in in the past, having the strength to completely end that cycle. Starting to realize all the things that this person may have done to you. And feeling the pain, feeling the ending, okay? You are someone that could be a parent. You could be a mother. You're someone that's very nurturing. You are the divine feminine. Being the divine feminine, she is balanced in divine masculine and feminine energy. So even though she is the divine feminine. So someone that is focused on themselves, someone that's understanding, but there's like a new cycle, okay? There's a birth of a new idea. There's like a manifestation that's coming into fruition, I feel, in the current energy. So for the Queen of Cups, I was just going to ask. You've got the Five of Cups in reverse and Judgment. Scorpio energy. So not feeling sadness anymore. You are the Queen of Cups. Water energy. You're giving, you know, you're being the queen of love again. You know, you're in your element. Someone that could have been hurt in the past. You know, at the beginning of the reading here, you start off in the nine of wands and the nine of cups, okay? So you giving to this energy, this person coming in into your life that's going to give to you. You've got the princess of swords. So that's the page of swords. Starting something new, okay? The Page of Swords is also a student. You've got the Five of Cups in reverse. I don't feel like you're sad anymore. As I said, you felt those emotions and you've let them go. I feel like with this Five of Cups in reverse, you know, those two cups that are behind have fallen. Okay, so it's some type of union that um, was from the past that you gave to is now completely over, I feel, in your energy. You know, and you are waking to the call. Scorpio energy could be significant. 
but you are going to be the winner, okay? There's something about sort of showing off. Like you have reached a finish line with something in your life. Letting something go, giving to something new, becoming you again after such a turbulent past here. Starting to become yourself again, Pisces. What's the Nine of Swords? Sorry, the Knight. What's the Knight of Swords? You have the Princess of Pentacles. So she's the Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. And the Four of Cups. Hanged man on the back of the deck. Pisces energy. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so this Knight of Swords, I feel like this could be this past energy that you're leaving. You gave them this cup. Look at the cup. It's, it's beautiful compared to the other cups here that they are focused on. You were something heaven sent. But this person chose to leave the situation because... This wasn't fulfilling them too. This wasn't giving them everything that they needed. So they walked away from the situation and they started something new with a younger energy could possibly be with the Princess of Pentacles coming out. So as I said, she is the page. So he could, he could have this energy, this Knight of Swords. He could have started something with this Princess of Pentacles, okay? Earth could be significant. But I feel like this person is starting to realize that this isn't what they wanted either, okay? So they're receiving some type of karma with this person. They're not receiving what they want and they're starting to think about what they lost with you. And I feel like in the future energy here, Pisces, this person will come towards you with something to say. Like they have something that they want to say to you before you start on this new adventure. So I feel like once you complete that cycle and you start working on something new, this person will come back again, this person from the past. What is the star? What is the star for Pisces? You have the Nine of Pentacles. So the star, Aquarius energy, a wish fulfillment. There could be a gift coming in or money, abundance with something to do with the material world here, something that you're focused on. You've got the King of Wands. I feel like this person coming into your life that you're starting a new cycle with is really going to give you the motivation to focus on yourself this person sees you working on yourself also. Um, this person, I feel, sees you um, being vulnerable, going through all the challenges by yourself. They see you doing it all yourself. They see you being someone that doesn't need anybody. With the King of Wands coming out, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that could be significant. But this person looks at you as like this very attractive nine of pentacles. You know, the king of wands is already someone that's very good looking or someone that people are very attracted to. This person's very passionate. They fight for their dreams. You've also got lions coming out. So Leo energy could be significant, but this person is a fighter and they fight for their goals okay but they they are looking at you like damn damn girl you are some type of wish fulfillment and as i said having this person in your life i feel like it's going to give you a lot more time to focus on your occupation or whatever you're trying to build in your life this person may come in and help you with that but you also leave this person like lost for words 
something about being vulnerable with you. And then you've got the three of wands. So this person could live at a distance. I feel like this is what's coming in, okay, after you heal from the past. Such beautiful cards. I love these cards. But look at all those ships coming in. There's more coming in because of this person coming into your life and you letting go of something from the past is going to bring in a lot of success, I feel, in your material world too. So you could be very focused, as I said at the beginning of the reading, very focused on yourself, on building your career. Um, this person may collaborate with you. They may come in and help you with that situation also, but... This person wants to be here for the long haul. This person does want to bring in happiness. I feel like this isn't someone that wants to cause drama. <clears throat> this person is someone that could be very wise also. Okay, Pisces. So for what you don't see on the back of the deck, you've got that Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> What's the Seven of Swords? You've got the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you've found your wish fulfillment and I feel like you're deciding to leave a situation, taking all your communication. You could be ghosting an energy. You've got the Sun. Sorry, I better just do that. Leo energy and you have the five of cups so this person you could have seen some type of truth this person could be self-indulging there was a conflict things were lost cups were lost emotions feelings you could have children with this person you've got the empress coming out on the back of the deck but you are the empress okay there is this birth of a new idea there's this manifestation that you want and this person ain't giving it to you. I feel like you're going to let go of this situation and move forwards, okay? Even though this could be something that hurts you to do, to leave this situation. But you know this person isn't giving you what you want. What is the Queen of Pentacles? You have the Prince of Wands, so the Knight of Wands. So Earth energy could be significant, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You've got the Seven of Wands. This person's going to fight the competition for you. They want to come in. They are someone that's very attracted to you. This person does. I feel like there could be something about working together with the Queen of Pentacles. They could also be a parent or a mother, someone that could have Earth in their chart. And then you've got temperance. This is going to be something equal, okay? Sagittarius could also be significant. This person's going to fight the rest, okay? Because this person wants to come in and work with you. There's something about collaboration or work. And this is going to be something healing. I feel like this is this is like an angel. This is someone that's heaven sent, okay? This is a soulmate. We did see the soulmate cards coming out for this energy. So Pisces, leaving that cycle to start something new. Or focusing on yourself. But there is reward coming in for your hard work. Let's grab you out a music message now. We'll grab two. Two cards for Pisces. Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix. And one more. Missing Todd Terry remix, Everything But The Girl. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. 
Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever wanna check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I'm also doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.